Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, listen, listen. I woke up this morning, got out of bed, brushed my tooths, and combed my head. Look, you thought I was gonna start rapping, didn't you? No, I got up this morning and I had this idea in my head. I was like, why don't I do a Mercury 9.9 .9 top speed video part deuce? That's, that's loud, dude. Like, you're gonna have to stop with the sawing because I'm trying to shoot a video. I think he's done. Actually, the whole reason I want to do this video is because I'm wrapping my head around getting a lithium battery for my John boat. And I'm, I'm, you know, the one I'm looking at is like 26 pounds. And I'm trying to figure out how much speed I would pick up if I got rid of those two batteries. And I have an Odyssey battery back there that's a freaking giant. It's like 80 pounds, all right? Then I have an interstate battery. So I got the Odyssey for my trolling motor and then the interstate for my electronics. Now that I have live scope, you have to have... You know, you can't, you, it's, it's a little weird with batteries. It's like a little, like a little baby almost, you know, it whines if it doesn't have the right battery source. But, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it out right now and I'm going to run it and see what my top speed is. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take my batteries out. Then I'm going to run it. Leave all my tackle in here. I've got a lot of wood on here. I've got a lot of decking, a lot of wood. Um, the wood's pretty heavy, but I'm just curious. Let's do this trailer straps instead of a instead of a ratchet strap but you know what it works it works it hasn't failed me yet front and this little do that then i'll lock this back because i have a th marine z launch i hear that woodpecker up there pecking pecking wood hook this up this. I also have a video on this Z launch, how I use it and how awesome it is, especially if you only got, if you fish alone like I do a lot. Not saying I don't have any friends, just saying this thing's awesome. Number one key, make sure you lock this back. If not, all this rope's going to fling out. Covers off, power on. Yes, sir. Go back here. And if you noticed, I took my hummingbird off, and now I'm running straight Garmin. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in here too. Not just tackle, but like rain gear. A little, a little uh, toolbox back there, paddles, line, sun line. This ought to be fun. Definitely a uh, nice day out here, actually. This is a time of the year where you don't know how to dress. It's either warm or it's chilly, or it's chilly then it's warm, or it's raining. Already paid my ramp fee. Two bucks, not bad, down here, local ramp. It's called Mormon's Marina. I come down here a lot just because it's not real busy and, uh, ooh. Somebody don't know how to throw their trash away. Hmm. See if I can do this with my left hand. No. There <laughs> we go. Just gotta talk sweet to them. That's it. <laughs> See what the top speed is. It's perfect out here today. There's no wind. Knock on wood. This is wood. This is real wood. There's no chop. It's nice, calm, slick. So we're going to get a accurate reading to my hypothesis of the analogy that I'm doing. You ready to do some work, girl? What the hell? Never embarrass me like that again. Like I said, are you ready to do some work, girl? Okay, you're a guy. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. You're a guy. My bad. Look at these, uh, let me get this thing rolling. So you can see right there, top speed.
one big straight stretch that I'm actually uh, testing this out on. So I got plenty of water to get it wide open. So we're gonna call 14 mile per hour. There's a piece of wood. Ooh, that's a stump. Might not be going anywhere if I hit that joker. Straight stretch, wide open for a good two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, whatever. So I'm gonna call it 14 mile per hour. Go ahead and set her down real quick. That was a successful run, all right? No boat wakes, no nothing. Like I said, it's slick calm out here. I've got my boat loaded down. Two batteries, tackle, you know, rain gear, you know, stuff like that. My little toolbox, my camera gear, rods. I'm gonna go back to the boat ramp and I'm gonna take the batteries out and I'm gonna run it like that and see how fast. Dude, that one's like 80 pounds, no, no joke. The other one's probably, I don't know, 50, like a regular battery. That Odyssey battery is like a battery for a tractor trailer or something. I feel like I can get an idea on what my John boat would run if I had a lithium. Since it's only like 26 pounds, you know, you can, you can kind of judge it by that. So let's do this. Let's go back to the boat ramp. Take these big ass batteries out. You know, I'm a, yeah, let's just do that. I'll get sidetracked. I'll get sidetracked because I brought my rods. I've got a typical load, what I normally bring. I might bring one or two. There's a there's piece of wood right there, that piece of wood. That piece of wood, mo. When I go fishing, you know, I've got like one, two, three, four. I got five, six rods. So I usually bring anywhere from six to eight rods. Normally my tackle just kind of stays in here. I'll swap it out seasonally, you know. Let's go back to the boat ramp. It's not really that busy. If somebody comes, I'll move. Just pull it right up on there like this. So now I'm just gonna take these batteries out real quick and I'll probably just put them up on the dock or something like ain't nobody gonna mess with them. I'll say that and I'll come back and they'll be gone. It'll be an excuse for me to get a lithium battery. What's your favorite lithium battery? If you have any, comment below. If you know of a good one versus a bad one, or which one should I get, or you know, or if you know anybody that works at any lithium battery companies, tell them to holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, Mercury 9.9, you get like this little tool kit that comes in handy. Just in case, I'm just gonna leave it in my boat. It's got spark plug changer, screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. That's all. A little mercury pliers right here. Ouch! No, nah, just kidding. This is for my electronics, which really all I got is, you know, I had a hummingbird and two garments. Now I just have two garments and a radio and boat lights, and that's pretty much it. A 77 pounds. I told you. I told you. I'm good at guesstimating. Don't lose your nuts. Damn, that's some, whoever's coming down the pike is getting it, bro. Back. My neck and my back. Good gosh. Damn. Now, this one, that one ain't too bad. This Odyssey's freaking heavy. sound of a John boat in the morning. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. All right, I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna tell how fast you're going when you don't have any power to your Garmin unit with the mile per hour? I just kind of thought of that too. Um, but I got one thing here. So I've got this app on my phone and it tells you the mile per hour. So get my mile per hour with this app. And then when I put my batteries back in, I'll redo the whole thing. Fair enough. That's my app right there. So let's just see, let's just see. This should be, uh, this should be fun right here. So, so now not only can we test out the differences between the Garmin uh, GPS and then this app on my phone. I don't know, it's supposed to be pretty accurate so we'll see we'll see how how the two match up my garmin i was getting at we'll say 14 mile per hour with my batteries in here i have no batteries now and we shall see what i get with no batteries and that's probably a good hundred pounds out of here see if it makes that big of a difference let's do this Okay. 
okay? On this app, like my Garmin said I was getting 14 with batteries. This app says I'm getting 15 without batteries. I'm gonna put the batteries back in and run it with this app just to see how close it is. Cause it'll still be relevant, right, with this app. Like my motor settings, I've got it on the third notch. So it's trimmed up. Let's trim it down on one and see if it, just see if it makes a difference. Okay. All right, now. I have it trimmed all the way down to the number one setting. So it has three settings. And if you watch my previous video on my 9.9 .9 top speed, you'll see that I messed with all those settings and number three was the best for what I was running at the time. So I don't have any batteries in here and I put it down on the number one setting. So let's just see if it, I don't know, see if it goes faster or slower. All right, so I put it back on three because it kind of felt sluggish on one. It felt like it was pushing, it was harder to push the boat. It was, I don't know. I like it on three, I think. I like the way it feels. Let's do one more run. See what she does. Now I'm at 15. So I'm at 15 top speed on this app. No batteries. All right. So it looks like 15 top speed, no batteries. You know, from what this app is saying. So I'm gonna put the batteries back in. I'm gonna leave this app on since we don't have power to our, Gar our Garmin units and see how relevant it is. So. My Garmin said 14 with batteries. The app said 15 without batteries. Let's see what the app says with the batteries back in. And if it's only that big of a difference, uh, you know, I might reconsider on those, um, I might reconsider on those uh, lithiums because they're expensive. I don't think they're worth it, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna take out all the tackle on my boat because I just took 100 pounds out and I only gained one mile per hour. We're gonna see, we're gonna see on this app, but nah, I don't, yeah, we'll see. Now, if the app's got me going at like 10 mile per hour, you know, it could be off, but it's still gonna be relevant because we're using the same source instead of the garments. Man, interesting. I need to be on Mythbusters or something like that. Or, it could be a weight transfer system. It could be if I put a battery up front, you know what I'm saying? And it levels out the boat. So I got both batteries back in. Let's see how this little app compares to my Garmin unit, see how close it is. I mean, it's GPS, right? It should be the same. Let's see what happens. It's close. It's pretty much dead nuts on. So I'm right, I'm right there at the 14 mile per hour mark. The uh, decimal, see now it's saying 14 and we're right at 14 on there, all right? So that's, that's close. That's close. Okay, okay. Foc I'm always worried about focus. Focus is the most important thing when shooting video for me and color. My little, iPhone app was pretty much right. Hardly any difference at all when I took 100 pounds out of the back of the boat. But one thing I did do, I did not hook up this big battery. I'm gonna take this big battery and set it up front. See if that affects the speed any because of the weight transfer deal. But my little app was right. Right on with the Garmin. When it hit 14, my app hit 14. I ain't mad at you. Grab this big sucker right here. 
put her up front. Because that, you know, I'll put it right there because that's about the same spot. I would put a battery if I had a battery up front, would be right around in there, right behind my um, storage box. All right, let's do this again. Battery up front. So I've got 75 pounds sitting on the front deck right now. And we'll see if the weight transfer will help pick up RPMs. Like the more, like if your weight is transferred throughout your John boat, will it let this mercury eat? We'll see. There you have it. Like, it's really no difference if you take all the batteries out or you got one battery in or you got weight up front this mercury 9.9 .9 is going to give me right around 14 mile per hour and i think my older video it was like 14 15 something like that 16. it is a lot cooler i don't know it's the same altitude because it's the same place i did it last time but the weather is different it's a lot it's a lot cooler right now. Last year I done it, it was in summertime. It seemed to run better in the summertime than it does in the early spring, which I always thought motors ran better. I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. There you have it, Mercury 9.9 .9 top speed, part deuce, part two. If weight really plays a factor in a John boat, reduce the weight, will it give you any more mile per hour? I've had a couple comments on my first video that the pitch of your prop will make a difference and it will give you a little bit more mile per hours or you know give you more rpms you know a little 9.9 .9 like this you can tinker with them and you can do all kinds of little things i'm not really going to touch mine yet because it's still under warranty but i know you can put like a, a 15 horsepower carburetor on it that'll give it some more rpms and then you can mess with the prop that will give you you know the the different pitches of the prop just like a big motor you know you run a 26 pitch prop on a mercury 250 or a 28 or a four blade or a three blade i mean it, it really gets kind of it really don't matter to me obviously i'm not in a hurry to get anywhere fast because i've got this john boat and i've got a 9.9 .9 on it the fact of the matter is if you want to go faster get a bigger motor i would love to have like a 25 or a 30 or a 40 on this for these big lakes and put my 9.9 .9 back on there when i go to like little reservoirs that only allow 9.9 .9, but i ain't got that kind of money one day I will, and I will buy a motor. And if I could hurry up and get my stimulus check, the first thing I'm gonna get is some flip-flops. The second thing I'm gonna get is a motor. No, I can't. I wish I could. I still haven't got it though. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Catch me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I'm on Twitter sometimes if I have to be just another outlet. There is your Mercury 9.9 .9 top speed video, part two. I hope it helped you out. If I missed anything, comment down below. Take it easy on the on the dislikes because my first video got over 10 dislikes. And, no, I appreciate every one of y'all watching my stuff and uh, commenting and you know, give me some tips, give me some comments. Lithium batteries, stay with what I got. I think I'm gonna stay with what I got just because lithiums are like $1,200, $800 for a freaking battery, so I'm good. Mythbusters, boat busters. Yeah, catch you, Bob.